Hello again. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Lulu, and today we're going to make a whipped brie with fig and walnuts appetizer. Let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to need three wheels of brie cheese. This is triple cream brie from Quebec. You'll want to use quality cheese here and not the cheapest kind. Trust me, it does not work. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you the epic fail that happened to me. So we're going to unwrap the cheese and then cut the rinds off. Here's a tip. Use a serrated knife when the cheese is cold to cut the rind off. It's much easier. Once all three wheels have been derinded, derinded? Is that a word? It could be. Anyway, once that's done, chop the brie into cubes. It doesn't need to be perfect. Large chunks will work just fine. This really is an easy appetizer. It only takes 15 minutes and there's no cooking involved. All you need is a stand mixer. I'm gonna add that cheese to the bowl of the stand mixer and then using the paddle attachment, we're gonna beat the cheese for 10 minutes. We want the cheese to look light and fluffy like buttercream frosting. So set a timer for 10 minutes, walk away, do other things, contemplate your life, and when you come back, you'll have a delicious whipped brie. Honestly, I didn't think my poor rickety table was gonna make it. After 10 minutes, the cheese looks light and fluffy and gorgeous. Now we're gonna put the appetizer together. Spread the cheese in a nice bowl or on a plate. See this size of bowl right here that I'm using? The recipe makes enough for two of these. So you could make one this way with the fig and walnuts, and you could make a second one a different way. For example, maybe a cranberry spread with some chopped hazelnuts. I'm going to spread on some of this fig jam. You can put on as much as you like. That looks good to me. And finally, top with chopped walnuts. Serve with plenty of sturdy crackers or baguette slices. And here it is, whipped brie with fig and walnuts. Okay, if you've made it this far, it's time to show you my epic fail. This is what happens when you use a cheap store brand brie and then you use the wrong tool to try to make it. I also learned that the brie won't whip together properly if you don't have enough of it. And that's why you need three wheels. You can find the full printable recipe on my website. The link is in the description box below. If you liked or learned anything from this video, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. Have a good one.